looks hey, like hey, we've hey, got hey. a dime set we're here defensively. Right. Six DBs hey. in the game. Hey. Third down, hey. Flacco from the gun. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. Be careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might walk into some tough coverage. Now wins. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Elvis Doverville in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 and what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. What out, what out, check. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. I know that taking care of the football is something that's drummed into every guy who plays this position, no matter what, whether he's running it, in the pocket, out of the pocket. But it's almost surprising to me that there aren't more fumbles by that position because of the way that they get attacked on each and every play. Yeah, we had the fumble last week. Now here's two weeks in a row with a fumble loss. Concentration has got to be lost a timeout in that challenge. Now, and as a coach, you hate that. You know, if you took the advice of the player, you threw it yourself but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. This is a live ball. Take it in. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. First career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles are back with it a score. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt. That one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies. One of the cornerstones of their defense. One of the guys you have to have on the field. I think they'll continue to get better and better. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Randy McLeod. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. 
pressure comes and it's blocked. The Ravens block it. But they will stop him before he gets to the marker, and they will take over after the blocked punt. And that's truly the way to change field position, isn't it? Block the punt and then take over inside the five-yard line. What a tremendous job by them. You change momentum, you change field position, and give yourself a chance to score. And now working their way back onto the field, the Eagles defense. And a field goal surrendered the last time out. It just oh, he goes into the end zone. And there's a flag on the play. And his kick is right through. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. For defensive back. Yeah. Expecting pass. Third down. Flacco from the gun. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mike Wallace, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So at the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance. To and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. 